In this really quick video guide, I want to show you a website where you can download for free 3D models, textures, and other 3D contents that you can use in your project, you can use in your exam. You can use it for any purpose, also commercial purposes, because these are CC0 public domain license, so they can be used for any reason. So the website is called Polyhamen. You can search it in Google here. Polyhaven and get into the first result, polyhaven.com. You can directly also got, get from here to the models, the textures, and the HDRIs, which are the three main contents, type of contents that, that you can download. And so let's get into the first page here, the home page. And also from here, you can pick the three categories. HDRIs, textures, models. In this video, we're going to talk about models and we're going to see how to import it and export it using Blender. You can see again, this is 100% free. CC0 means that you can use them for absolutely any purpose without restriction. They are high quality, so they have uh, high res resolution textures and high poly, so they have a lot of polygons and details. And this is a free project, so you can support them by becoming a patron or just with other ways that you can find here. You can see also the supporters and other information in the website. So let's go directly into the models, which are this one here. You can click on Browse Models. And these are the 3D models so far, but I believe that in the future they are going to be more and more especially if they have more support. So you can just select one of these. Let's say that I want uh, furniture here. And this one was the classic console that I showed you before. So we can go for that. And this is the page of the model that you're going to be downloading freely in just a minute. You can click here on 3D and you have also this visualization tool, which is pretty nice. You can use the scroll wheel to zoom and also to pan. Or if you click with the left mouse, you can orbit around. And right mouse, you're going to pan, so move horizontally, vertically. And you have an HDRI, which is going to give you nice reflections and a nice lighting. OK, and then you can change it some display settings. For example, this one is showing you the polygons and wireframe. And here you have the normal map, for example, to show you the details, which are not actually in 3D, but they are you done with the normal map. And if you're interested in this, check the Armor Paint videos in, the, in our channel or just write your comments and questions. Also suggestions if you want in the comments. Okay, so right here in the right part, we have the resolution for the texture, 1K, 2K, 4K, and also the format. In this case, I'm gonna use Blender. And if you don't know what Blender is, is a open source application that you can also download and install for free. So you can use it to open up models, but also to check the models here from Polyhaven and also to export them in different formats. Otherwise, we only have two formats here. We have only Blender and GLTF, which is pretty common, but not so common in the standards 3D software on the, the more uh, classic 3D software. So let's click on download. You also have here the possibility to check the textures, like the normal map or the diffuse and so on. So once you're finished, you click on download and you will find the model in the downloads folder right here. So we double click and we get these files and right click, copy them and you can paste it anywhere basically. But in my case, I've created a particular folder, this one here and created a folder called Classic Console and pasted it right here. So you have a Blender file that you can double click to open and you have textures right here. So you can check the textures or directly go into the 3D file. So this is the 3D model right here. So you can check the 
also the HDRI, which is also being imported. And you can check the model itself here in Blender, but we're gonna go to the exporting part right away. So spacebar, if, uh, sorry, control spacebar, if you want to make it bigger and want to see it more closely, file, export, this is where we can export. And we have the most common file like the AE and if you don't have it, you can also install an FBX format exporter. We talked about that into another video. We have STL, which is for printing in 3D. And again, GLTF. Also, Wavefront OBJ is pretty common. So you have all the most important file formats. And then from here, you can bring it into any other 3D software. So if you have any comments, please write it in the comment section and you can write questions, suggestions. You can support us in our YouTube channel by joining or subscribing. If you're looking for something in particular, use the search bar here and especially check out our playlist for professional software and other video guides. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.